Hello there guys, my name is Mark and welcome back to Fable 2. Last time we managed to get back to shore and managed to free Garth from the tattered spire. whoop de doo thank goodness. While you've been, well, while I've been back on the mainland, I have decided to upgrade my attire. You know, I'm a wealthy landlord now, I might as well look the part, and got myself the noble gear, and coloured it in as well. Need to have my own authentic look after all. I don't think it's the best I could come up with, but it looks better than the original. Anyway guys, in this episode I will be covering a few side quests before I get on back with the main quest of going to Rookridge Inn and finding Hammer. Anyway, let's crack on. Now, first thing I want to do is go see Barnum over in Westcliff. I gave him a bunch of money and it's time he paid up. I'm sure he will do, you know. Even if I have to force it out of him. I mean, after all, I sp he's a failed entrepreneur most of the time. I mean... He's got to have some good luck at some point, right? Right? I hope so. I don't really want to be a Barnum. I actually kind of admire the guy. Oh. The place has definitely changed. <laughs> definitely changed, in fact. The stalls Ooh. are Ooh. now opening! Oh. The place actually cleans up quite nice. Proper stalls and everything. He might have actually done good for himself. I wonder how on earth he did it. Considering last time there was a load of bandits. Well, if it is my old business partner. I never thought I'd see you again. What a wonderful surprise. And you couldn't have come at a better moment. Good. Have you ever seen such a marvellous transformation? Oh, I haven't. Families enjoying wholesome fun. Not a criminal or a ruffian in sight. All poverty eradicated. And I own it all. Even the crucible, that grandest and heroic of arenas. Great commentary team they have too. Heck. You've probably noticed I've done a fair bit of changing myself. I'm free from the shackles of that ridiculous thesaurus from the temple of business and yodeling. I'm a respectable man now. I don't like go to your age. But enough of that. I have a very healthy sum of gold for you here. Your investment plus ten years of interest and my heartfelt thanks. Whoa. Now, it's time I found new pastures, new ventures. The world is my bivalve mollusk. <laughs> Good farewellizations to you. Cheers, Barnum. How much did we get? Well, we got some renown. That's a good start. But how much money did we get? Come on, game. Show me the money. 15k. That's not bad. And I got renowned for helping the place, which is awesome. Well, I think I'm going to come here at some point and buy out the place. But now that I've done that, let's go back to the quests. Now, the next one. Hob squatters. I can't imagine that's actually a nice thing. You know, I've got a few abandoned houses where I live. Imagine if you just suddenly walked up one day and you saw an evil bloody hob just bouncing up and down in the windows. I imagine they're quite a noisy lot as well. Okay. Back in Oakfield. Where do we go? Damn in hell, ever since I helped the Temple of Light, these guys have invested a bit. How long was I away at the Spire? How long did Barman take it? As you can see, the Temple has prospered greatly during your absence. Without your help, this place would be deserted and its people dead or scattered. Wow. Okay. Hell. 
This place really did prosper quite a bit. And there's two rooms now. What's this second room for? Some sort of fountain? Oh, that's a that's the golden acorn turned into a fountain. Okay. And what's this? Now that Light looks shout! awfully familiar. Awfully familiar. I wonder if I can. No, I can't select it, guys. The time is very late. I am going to kill that town crier. I really am. The place looks actually really nice. Let I actually quite like this a lot. With possessions, or at least give them to the hmm. Nice wall and everything. I hope this water's not sacred, otherwise I've just dived in sacred water. And they want me to donate to the church, well, you seem rich enough. Hey! You look like the sort of goes into caves, dungeons and uh, what not when people ask them to. Uh, you can help me. Yeah. yeah. It's my digs, you see. Yeah, I live in this cosy little cavern, hardly any dampness at all, but I've been kicked out by a family of hobs. Oh, you poor guy. I came to the temple for shelter, but if you can kick those creatures out of my cave, well, I can go home. Well, sure. Let's do it. So you're not afraid of a few little hobs, surely? No. Not really. Ah, that's brilliant. Yeah, in you go, then. And light will be your load. Travel dark and turn into a toad. You want some shooting tips, do you? No, I don't. I, I am going to kill that town crier. Where, do you get Where am I going? Top? Looks good. Around here. It's a bit strange, isn't it, though, guys? The fact that the town crier... No, not the town cry, sorry. The Temple of Light seems to have prospered a lot, but Oakfield still... Oh! Oh! Oh. Give me a sec, guys. Well, I don't know what happened. Get back. Seems to be the lot of them. Far easier than last time. Alright, let's go into this cave. Hmm. I've been in here before and there was a locked door before. Hopefully the door's open this time. The Echo Cave. I wonder if there's any good loot down here. You know, the mighty quest for epic loot. That'd be awesome if I just came out with an epic loot. Do magic spells with its magical string. Oh, the door opens as soon as I arrive. How convenient. I'm sorry, developers, but that's lazy. Oh, dear. I'm sure you'll be able to... 
Uh, okay. I'll... Hang on. I just heard Tommy. Does that mean Tommy's blood is here? Ow. Shit. Yeah, take that. Hail of bullets to the face. You cheeky git. Oh, key. Thank you, Bracken. Much appreciated. Well, let's find the rest of the hobs. Do we really have to do a dig spot, Bracken? Really? Where is it then? Is it right here? Is it right here, Bracken? Bracken, show me the dig spot. Okay. Hopefully I'm close enough. No, I'm not. Damn it. Oh, go on then, give me the option. Thank you. Just shove the shovel into Bracken's arm. I'm sure it'll be fine. There we go. Now, where are these hobs? Where are they? They're down here? Yeah. No. 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 Yep. Flee, kids. Flee. Flee like the fleas you are. In a sad sort of way, guys, I kind of feel sorry for them. I mean, the end of the get day, they're just deformed children. Apparently, I've missed a cave diary entry at some point. Oh, here it is. And I'll leave that for your enjoyment if you want to read it. And in fact, I'll give you the other one as well. Ooh, that'll be in books, wouldn't it? Or would it be in yeah, books and documents? Cave Diary 2. There you are, guys, in case you want to read it. If not. Uh, why does this guy have. Oh. Yeah, I'm drinking again. But wouldn't you as well if you had to deal with a cave full of hobs? Damn it, hell, how far does this go up? Oh, there we go. Oh, you cheeky. Alright, Bracken, first time. First time, I want this. I am a treasure and I'm digging a hole. Oh, looks like there's been a little bit of murder in here. I don't need that anymore. Eh. Uh. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna ask questions. But I will take this. For your enjoyment, guys. Sense more. How the hell does a hob dodge bullets? Let's take the treasure and go out. A pretty necklace. Okay. And I'll take the book as well. This human stuff is... Oh. Hang on. Hang on. That guy's not really a crossdresser, is he? God damn it. Why can't you jump from that height? Look, if I fell all the way from the bloody Bowerstone Castle's highest tower and survived, I'm sure I can fall, what, a 20 feet drop into a muddy cave? You know, people have done worse. I could have jumped that. Silly game. Oh, here we go. You were meant to get eaten, but you killed them! Murderer! Well, oh, that didn't take too much. I wonder what Tommy's story actually was. Like, was 
he like as close to a human as humans can get for a hob. Uh, sorry, as close to a human as hobs could get. I don't know, guys. Just thinking it through. At some point, I'll read through the documents as well, and I'll understand it. I first time I played this, I read through everything. I was a proper Fable fanboy with everything. But a lot of years of experience has gone down the drain. <laughs> oh, really? I took a Hobbs leg as a trophy? That's disgusting. Ew. Why would you hold that up as a trophy? And why are you guys Hello. all here to You're see You're not from around here, are you? Wake up! I'm gonna kill... No, no. Before I end this session, guys, there's a job I need wakey, to do. Wakey, wakey! It's day breaky! Yeah, it is. And as soon as I find your backside, you're dead. Where is he? Where the hell is this Oak Vale Town Cryer? I'm gonna kill him. I've had enough of him. He's done nothing but ruin my intros, ruin my talks, and ruin my discussions. I want him dead. Where is he? Where is the We town are crier? but worms writhing in your grandiosity. Need a new blade? Really? You just said that? You poor, poor woman. Have a little bit of dignity and self-respect. Where is the bloody town crier? There he is. Okay. Okay. You are an upstanding citizen. I was in a great mood till. And I'm out. I'm sorry, guys. It needed to happen. It needed to happen. Well, at least now I'm in Rookridge, I can go talk to Hammer. Look guys, it needed to be done. I'm sorry if it shocked you, but it needed to be done. But that's all I have time for today, guys. As always, if you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Cheerio!